Hello, hello! Welcome back. It's me, XP Supernova, and today we're gonna be playing some more Terraria today, but with a somewhat weird twist. Yeah, the entire top half of the world is gone. I didn't actually mean to trick you guys in the community post, but I decided this might be a lot more interesting than just the bottom half, because the top half is arguably a lot more important than the bottom half. <laughs> Good thing the skeleton that spawned in wasn't just like a bone skeleton, that would have been horrible. Oh, there is a slime here too. Oh dear. Yeah, I need to make a house ASAP. That is if I can even make one. Stop shooting the slime! You, you stupid guide. Also, it's Halloween too, but this is not the Halloween video, sadly enough. I don't know what I'm doing for Halloween, but I'll do something. That's next week, not this week. Yeah, let's just make a little bit of a shelter down here. I don't know if we can even craft walls without a bench. I don't think we can. Also, the fact that there's a bunny down here is very funny. Because it looks exactly like a slime. Oh, dear. Yeah, there's a lot of issues with not having the top half of the world. Notably, uh, there not being any trees, I think. I could be- Oh, there's trees in the jungle! But that's gonna be a while before we can get over to the jungle for any sort of wood in any serious amount, so yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna trap enemies because, to be honest, that's the safest thing we can do. For now, until I can find wood. Which is either gonna be in a house, or it's gonna be somewhere else. So yeah, torches are gonna be pretty scarce throughout the playthrough, I think. Which is a bit sad, but whatever. Hey, look, a pot, and we got five torches. Never mind, we'll, we'll be rich in torches in no time. Also, the difficulty should be expert, I could be wrong. But yeah, I don't feel like doing master mode this time through. Because I haven't played Terraria in a long while. Oh dear. Cavern enemies at the beginning of the game means death, pretty much. I think this is going to be our first death pretty quickly on. If we fall down into a pit, we're basically dead. Yep, kind of figured that would happen. My first priority is usually wood, but we don't have that right now, so our first priority is still wood. But hey, we got a bunch of stone, I suppose. Also, the only part that's left of the top of the world is a little bit of a slab to mark where the dungeon is. So that way it's not like screwed up or whatnot. Because I don't really want to deal with no dungeon. Also, it'd be impossible to like actually find the dungeon legitimately. I'd have to go into T-Edit when we'd actually need to fight Skeletron or whatnot. So yeah. Speaking of the dungeon, actually we could like go in and sneak in and grab a couple bit bits of blue because the top half is completely ripped out. So yeah. Also, as a side note, there's not going to be any shimmer in this world, sadly, because of how the world ended up generating. There is still the jungle temple, which I would have had to restart the world anyways if there wasn't a jungle temple. So yeah. Got lucky that this jungle temple was below the world half, I guess. So it's at the bottom half of the world somewhere. Don't remember exactly where. But yeah, the shimmer got completely deleted. It was up on the higher half. So yeah. No shimmer to help us in this playthrough, but that's fine. If you guys want me to have shimmer, maybe I'll add it back in in the next episode. But that's really up to you guys to decide. So yeah. I decided just to remove it and not place it in because I wanted to make this as, well, uh, bare bones as possible for the challenge. I also kind of forgot you could get torches from pots too. Ooh, mana statue. This is a star statue, but whatever. Also, ironically, most of this loot I, down here right now is completely useless because I can't get myself a furnace or whatnot. I guess an anvil would be easier to get, ironically, because I can find them in houses sometimes. Also, if you're wondering how large this world is, it's a medium world. Uh, I usually just do medium worlds because I like the size of medium worlds for most playthroughs. Even if they are a bit more annoying technically for single player. It's because it allows more things to ha- Ooh, a house, finally! We get some wood. I can make myself a workbench. And a lucky flipper. Awesome stuff. I'm grabbing all of this wood, by the way. And the chests, because the chests are also valuable. I'm assuming there was like water above this, but then it like generated weirdly or something.
Oh, that is nice. How have I gotten two lucky things already? What? We're just gonna go full lucky this run, I guess. Even though, like, realistically, I'd probably just go defense because defense is pretty dang good. Also, mining all these platforms can get me a little bit of extra wood. I know, I'm very cheap. Okay, so if I place down my workbench, I can craft myself a furnace, too. Awesome stuff. Now we actually have progression. This house was actually a godsend in this run. Let's see if we get ourselves a mining helmet and save the run right here, right now. We got a bone pickaxe instead! That's even better, honestly. Oh, yeah. Sweet, sweet. Oh, it's shameful, though. I hope that doesn't decrease speed, though. Nope. Oh, we did get a mining helmet. Never mind. Awesome. Oh, and there's finally a heart crystal. Lovely. But there's like a million mobs guarding it, so this is going to be actually annoying. Ah, oh, yes, the power of pickaxe. Best tool in the game. Oh, that that's nice! I wasn't expecting that, but, uh, thank you. Also, I can wear this so we have better vision. Now I can go, yoink, and be fine. Oh, ho, ho. This is a god tier run already. How did everything align so perfectly, though? Sure, we don't have Hermes boots, but I can beat the eye without Hermes boots. I'm switching this to master mode soon enough. I can do that in T-Edit, so yeah. Because this this is a bit too easy, I think. I thought the challenge was going to be much harder than this. But it turns out it's not. So I'll switch it to master in a little tiny bit. Probably after we get back up to the surface. And that is... That actually would isn't useful at <laughs> all. You know what's funny? All the Sky Islands are gone, so this is actually kind of worthless. Uh, I guess I could use it for boss fights, though, since that's something I can do, I guess? Super weird, man. Yeah, I'm running out of space really quickly. And there's a house. Watch it have Hermes boots and... or, like, uh... What's it called? What did I say? I, I, got, I got too lucky this run. There There's something wrong. Something very wrong going on. You know, despite my 1,000 hours of playing Terraria also, come to think of it, I haven't even beaten Hardcore once because I don't feel like it. I don't ever really enjoy Hardcore challenges because I'm a dumb idiot and I like making somewhat risky decisions, but Hardcore kind of completely removes that option almost all the time for me. Because if I am even slightly stupid, I will die. It just happens. Also, I'm kind of excited for the Skyblock seed that they're going to be adding in the future, which I'll definitely try that out, and I'll probably make a video on that, because it'd be neat to do something like that for it, and it seems like a playthrough that's fine for me. I usually like doing a lot of first playthroughs off-camera, because it's just better usually, but I think this might be an exception, actually, because, to be honest, it's still basic Terraria gameplay, but it's just a little bit different because it's Skyblock. Awesome. We've gotten three out of the required something heart crystals. I don't remember the exact amount. Oh, and we have this guy here. What are you selling today? Oh, the artisan loaf is nice. And the legendary step stool, the most powerful thing in the game. TBH actually want to get a bunch of bone torches, though. Since, uh, having torches would be nice. We're in the ice biome now! Oh yeah, we've already been exploring quite a bit. I really need to get a place to store my stuff, though. AKA make a house. I wonder what I'll do for my housing, though. I usually just build kind of generic brick boxes with, uh, different blocks than, like, wood. Because I don't usually build with wood. Because I'm weird like that. And I have done fairly stu- Oh, this is the surface. I 
Ice skates, I can use those. I might as well use this and like skim the surface. Another cloud in a bottle. It's angry though, so it's better. Man, uh. Gold bar. Honestly, I don't need gold bars. I already have enough gold as is. Yep, we can find a bunch of stuff on the surface with this. Extractionator, let's go. Best thing in the game. Let's just get rid of the silt. Which, wait, wait, why am I getting rid of the silt if I literally just got an extractionator? Wait, that's stupid. <laughs> oh my gosh. Honestly, we don't need an axe at all, as far as I'm aware. That's a blink root. We'll grab another blink root, because why not? Honestly, having this large flat area underground actually makes it a lot easier to go find loot. Like right here. Look at that. A flare gun. Flare guns are funny. I want one. Uh, what else do we get rid of? We should totally get rid of the silt. I, I, I definitely don't need it. Actually, don't. But let's ignore that. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, that's the dungeon. So that means the dungeon would be somewhere above here, roughly. There is loot down here, though. I don't see much. Wait, is there any, like, water bolts here? Yeah, we're so dead. I probably should have placed blocks. Oh, dear, all my gold. Also, I'll probably set it up to master mode really quick, and I'll be back. So yeah, uh, see you guys until then, and I'll show you guys the house when it's done and over with. And I've changed it to master, as you can see. Alright, we're back in, uh, and I didn't finish the house because I'm lazy. Uh, actually, no, I'm just trying to show most of the footage, I guess. Yeah, building housing is actually rather expensive. We'll actually want to build tables here because crafting tables are expensive. Oh yeah. So yeah, actually getting a bunch of marble might not actually be a bad idea. I don't think this house is valid, but it could be. Oh, it's actually suitable. That's nice. So it just fits in. Now, normally I don't need to make invasion traps on the side- Well, actually, no. Normally I should make an invasion trap on the side of my house, but to be honest, all it's defending against right now is mobs from the underground. Which is, I think, which I do think warrants building something for, I guess. Silver brick looks kind of meh, though, to be honest. What? Oh. That was an uh, instant death jump scare. Also, Master Mode feels like just the right difficulty now. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Not one of those guys. Wait, did that guy just have like a wing animation for a second? Oh dear, that sounds horrifying. Flying conch and eel beetles. And it's just a completely normal one. Oh, that is a big, huge boon. I've started to grow to appreciate the chain knife over the years, though. It's kind of peak, not gonna lie. Look at how well it deals with these mobs, though. I really hope that's the end of the dungeon it is. 
I'm free. Probably. Was this like... You know, this is definitely a trap chest. Yeah, I'm fine with that. We made it pretty far though, didn't we? I should have expected there to be a second one. Why are there so many chests? I guess I don't need more staffs of reef girls, but whatever. Is this like the exact layer or something for like chests? Okay, so yeah, this is a good enough time I think to fight the eye. I spent long enough preparing anyways. There we go! We ran out of time. Come on! Oh my god. That crawdad almost ended the run. Ooh, cool. Oh yeah, I forgot you get those in Master Mode. Oh my god. Ooh, the rally, nice. Wait, I literally got a good weapon as soon as I killed the eye. That's awesome. Okay. Also, this is too dapper not to wear for now, so yeah, we're gonna definitely put it on. Okay, now to craft ourselves some arrows. I think we actually completely removed the corruption on accident in this world. Uh, that's funny. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this thing. Uh, it's just a hard magiluminescence, which is better than nothing, I guess. Okay, so what next, actually? Because we can't really fight the Eater of Worlds, so we're probably just going to completely ignore that. I think our next best bet is to actually somehow get to the surface on one of the sides of the world and start farming goblins, I guess. Since that's probably going to be our only way to, like, actually, you know, get stuff. So we're going to need a ton of blocks, so that means it's time for a mining uh, adventure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a while before I grab all the blocks, so I'll probably meet you guys back when that happens. I know, I'm so inconsistent at giving you ra random, uh, transitions, because I'm just like that. I, I don't think things ahead for that kind of thing, because I don't know what I'm actually gonna record in and keep in and out, honestly. Yeah, we got that. I've already gotten this achievement before for the reference, but yeah, there's no corruption at all. Like, in this world, anywhere to be seen. Which I find really funny. Oh, hello there. And a radar, awesome. Now we can see how many monsters are nearby. Just gonna make a giant stone pillar until we make it to the surface. Awesome. Yeah, this is going to be a while. Especially with bats starting to pester us again. Oh, the surface at long last. And as you can see, it's completely torn away. There's nothing left, as far as I'm aware. I might as well make a house here, actually. Well, I'm at it, I guess. I have- I actually happen to have walls for whatever reason, that's awesome. I have to make it kind of crappy though, but as long as we can get it, like, good enough, that should be fine. Uh, I guess we can move the Dryad and the Merchant here.
Okay, just... Wait, what? How did you instantly die? What? Let's just do this, just in case. And I guess we could fight the torch god, that would be a good idea, surely. This is actually a terrible idea, by the way. Oh. Can there not be bunnies? Why is there that guy? Why are there monsters here while I- Yay! I love random skeletons and shellies shooting out of nowhere when I can't see them. Yay! Awesome. Okay, finally, we're doing well ish. Yes, I know, I placed an enormous amount of torches. Torch God. You don't have to shoot and kill me it over it though, jeez. How did I not get hit there? Epic. Alright. And I'm still gonna have bone torches, because bone torches are still the best torch for this type of place. Oh, there's a gold bunny. Uh. I don't have any blocks on me, so it's just gonna die. Yep. That's just how it is. Well, rip. If I can get a little bit of sand, though, I can actually, like... Oh, wait, you might. Hey! It's one of those things! Let's go! Just what I was looking for. Well, I might as well fall down to get it. And we get a heart crystal in exchange too. Awesome stuff. We need to fight roughly three or two more of those. Depends on how lucky we get. Alright, now to farm enemies. The enemy spawn should massively increase with this around us. I think that's exactly enough to actually start the goblin invasion. Or is it? Do we need more to this? Mr. Guide, I'd like to ask you a question. Oh, we need 10. Oh, I didn't know we needed that much. Oh, the boomstick. Oh, that is incredibly good. I need to make more crappy housing really quick. Oh, yeah. Okay, now, actually, we have a good weapon. Which means the chain knife is now outclassed. So sad. The early carry. We will miss you, chain knife. Except not really, honestly. <laughs> Alright, gun! Like a true American would. We can use the boomstick. There we go, the final guy's here. You got comboed to death. Okay.
How did you guys get over here? Oh, you guys can jump up that little gap. There's a house here that- Do I have to build up to the center of the world? Uh, why? Okay, they do attack. Let's go. Alright, now we don't ever have to fight those guys again, I think. Because they won't spawn in hard mode without us, like, trying to spawn them on purpose. Though, to be honest, I probably will fight them in hard mode, because the Shadow Flame weapons are pretty good. Okay, so, the best way to find the Goblin Tinkerer is quite simple, really. We just head left. Yep, see, I told you guys. It was that simple. Do I seriously not have enough money for... Oh, man. I'm already broke. And I haven't even, like, bought anything from him. Actually, I still want to go over to the jungle and maybe get myself jungle armor, though, since that's just better defense for me. <gasps> Whoa! Let's go! Finally! Okay! We got one of those things. That's what I've been looking for this entire playthrough. I did not know the chest could contain those. Very nice to know that, though. Helmet. Yes, let's go. Epic. Alright, we got even better armor now. Our defense is now 20 without the warding thing. Which is actually not even an improvement at all. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I should use this because it would be funny. Would I? I wouldn't fall from the top of the world, would I? I've already been here. I'll take that. Oh, the jungle temple. Oh, that's nice to know that we're by the jungle temple now. Wizard hat, let's go. Best hat in the game. And now it's mandatory for you for me to put this right here instead. Epic. And that is the last heart crystal we need. Awesome. And we have an arena for a Skeletron. I'm gonna probably keep this right here because I think that's needed. But yeah, we have the old man here, the dungeon spawn should be working, and it should be all groovy. So, uh, yeah. There we go. This should be a big enough arena for Skeletron. Now we just need to fill it in with, uh, campfires. Here we go! Epic. Oh yeah. Ooh, the handgun. It's a better gun that we have now. 
All right, we'll take the rest of this loot though, for sure. Oh, and the mechanic, perfect. Oh, that is a water bolt right there, I think. Ooh, awesome. There actually was one right here, which was pretty close, but we probably wouldn't be able to grab it unless we were like really careful. Ruthless is a really good reforge though. I'll take that for sure. I'm actually going to need to fight the Eater World if I want to get myself, uh, Hellstone Armor. I think it's called Molten Armor, right? I haven't played Torrent forever. Yeah, it's Molten, I think. Wait, how is there three of the four chests already here? What? Okay, we got all the good chests, I guess. Besides maybe the jungle chest, but... I don't know, man. I just want the Muramasa and I'll be done and over with this place. Also, is it weird that I barely use, like, the Cobalt Shield? Because, like, I feel like I'm, like, one of the few people who actually does do that. And just, just like, eh. Whatever. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot about the witching tables and, uh, alchemy tables. Do I seriously have to go fishing for a Murasama? It's probably the only weapon I think is actually worth fishing for. Because, holy crap, is the Night's Edge actually busted. And, hey, we got the other thing. Uh, I guess we can get rid of the slime. Honestly, if this is either of them, I'll be fine. Yes, it's the Murasaba. Let's go. Actually, I still need the Knight's Edge. Uh, so. Uh, well, four water walking potions. I thought I had less. Also, let's get rid of these because those are clearly the worst thing here. Alright, we might have not got a Cobalt Shield, but I could honestly care less. Because I'm the person who never uses a Cobalt Shield. Oh, there's still a hallway over there. Okay. Of course that thing killed me, of all things. Why does a single piece of damage make your invisibility potion wear out? Even if it's like spikes and not an enemy. Give me back my money. Jeez. Hey, we got the cobalt shield. Let's go. Now we can head on out. Okay, now it's time to get prepared for the wall of flesh. But before we can do that, I actually need to go do some more jungle hunting. Uh, but anyways, where was I at? So I don't think we're actually going to be able to make ourselves a uh, knight's edge until hard mode. Which, ironically, it's good enough to be a hard mode weapon. It's kind of just that cracked. Yep, that is enough for the blade of grass. Now, we still need one last thing, and that happens to be the volcano, but I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get one or not. So, do I just have to wait for a blood moon to happen? I think that's kind of just what I'm going to have to do, so I can make a corruption. Where would I Actually, I should probably get the corruption area set up. So that way I have, like, a specified area for the corruption, which would be a good idea. Alright, eye obliteration time. <laughs> the Book of Skulls is actually kind of good against the eye for whatever reason. It's got super slow projectiles though, which is funny. All the eyes I've done have been defeated. Alright, we got some corrupt seeds. Also, I can see if it got- Ah, oh, yeah, warding. Awesome. The best part about this corruption is it's not actually going to spread anywhere close to my base. Which is just really nice, to be honest. Also, this is kind of where I'm going to have to fight the Eater of Worlds, I think. Because uh, I kind of just picked this area to make my corruption and I have to fight it in the corruption, so yeah. No way, Arcane Shackle, best shackle in the game. It's so over for pre-hard mode. Also, corruption is definitely starting to grow here. And we're getting spawns, so that's good. 
This still isn't a full corruption yet, though. I think we need more. So we'll just keep expanding it, I guess. There you are. What quest do you have? Oh, yeah. Surface biomes. I forgot those exist. Yeah. It's gonna be a pain, isn't it? Oh, boy. If it becomes evil, then we know it's done, done right. Oh, yeah, it's evil now. Oh, yeah, no, never mind. Or, time to fish. Oh my gosh, get in your houses, you stupid people. Oh, the, these guys can spawn. Okay. The chum caster. Oh yeah, that's even better than what we have right now. Oh no, not one of these guys again. What if I... Boink. Ah! Take that, you stupid guy. You can't take me out now. And we got- that's demonic. Ooh, that's like the second best reforge I think I can get on these things. Epic. I usually only record one day, but I kind of wanted to make this project a little bit longer, I guess? Or I wanted to take a bit more time on it, because I feel like giving this project a bit more time will make it come out better in the end, so sorry it didn't come out on Wednesday. Because I- or maybe it did, and I just somehow edited, like, seven hours of footage in a single day. That would be insane. <laughs> Alright, ooh, let's go. Look at the house, it looks so much better. Sure, you guys might not have cared about Silver Brick, but honestly, Silver Brick is, like, one of the lowest, in my, or one of the worst, uh, brick types, in my opinion. Let's test this out now that I have this finished with my chum caster. Oh yeah, gotta love the chum caster. Okay, yeah, this looks like it's gonna be good. I guess we could make this a desert? The issue- the thing is, if we make this a desert, we'll actually be fine. Because, uh, we don't have any, like, desert walls, so the uh, mobs won't spawn. It'll just be probably ant lions at worst. So if I just fill this bottom part in with sand, it could be good to go. How much sand do I need to place, though? Holy. Oh, we have a desert. All right. Our base is official. Wait, that's not the right block. Our base is officially a desert. Awesome. That took t too long to happen. Okay, let's head on over to the ice biome and make ourselves some housing, finally. Do 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 do. Time to go look for, uh, what are they called? Corruption altars, yeah. Or no, they're called demon altars, actually. Time to go look for a demon altar so we can start actually, you know, fighting the Eater of Worlds. And also we'll make some housing there too while we're at it. I always notice that uh, corruption altars are more common in ice biomes. I don't know if that's just a me thing or if that's an actual thing that's in the game. Ice cream. Woo. And worm food. Just what we need. Okay. Alright, awesome stuff. Let's go fight the Eater of Worlds. We'll do it first try, guys. Trust. It's probably just gonna be either really cheesable or it's actually gonna be a nightmare. It's one or the other.
Oh boy. Okay, what the heck went on? Okay, so a bunch of the loot just fell down here, obviously. That was weirdly easy, but it was also like a weird fight in general, so yeah. Alright, this should be enough, I think. I... Uh... Yeah, it should be. If we need more, we can come back down later anyways. 111 bars. Lava proof bug net, we'll do that last. So the first order of business is the Molten Fury, and it's the Pickaxe, and it's our Phoenix Blaster, because that's awesome. Alright, and then the armor, which 10, 20, 15. 10 plus 20 plus 15 is 45. Okay, so we have enough for the Lava Roof Bug Net, I think. Knight's Edge! Knight's Edge, it's just a Knight's Edge. Deadly is more than good enough for this. This thing is going to be ripping through everything now. Oh boy. Okay, so... Now it's time to do the last thing in free hard mode. Everybody's favorite part, by the way. Building a hell bridge. Aw, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Why? This is the worst part of the entire game, to be honest. Like, if there was just a way to build a Hellbridge easier, Terraria would be so much better, man. But we don't really have that, so... We are just gonna go down there, and we are gonna grab all the stuff we need. Which is just this. Oh, also, I almost forgot. You know, we had the sharpening buffer that... How long has it been since I died? Oh, I died last in the dungeon. Jeez, I am not dying that much. How many times have I actually died? 14, wow, that is a new record for me. I'm actually proud of that. Oh, why is there so many mobs? But anyways, uh, close the door. That way they can't get in. And uh, here I go. Here we go. You should all get deleted pretty quickly. And I'm stupid. Oh wait, I didn't set this up specifically for the, you know, the wall. So I'm a little bit dumb. You get distracted by the hungry really easily though. I may have made a mistake. I have not fought the wall of flesh in forever. Walls the hungry have already respawned. Be our recovery point. Oh, they're locked on. This is the perfect situation for the night's edge. First try. Oh my gosh. Did not expect that to be a first try, but I am pleasantly surprised. And we got a firecracker, which is one of the better weapons. 
All right, let's eat that demon heart and let's uh equip the legendary oh so lovely what's it called uh uh where are you my friend my good old long lost forgotten friend uh, i'm looking for my cloud in a bottle that's what i'm looking for i know i must stall to the very end it is my philosophy actually i think it's just in my inventory that's funny okay well, that about concludes it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like, or maybe even subscribing, it's also the channel a ton. Or you can also check out the Discord server in the description, which it's in every video, so yeah. Until then, see you on the next one. Don't know when this Terraria video is going to be uh, over and stuff, but hopefully I'll have the series done in like two or three weeks. So until then, see you all in the next one. Goodbye!